Hello friends, this video on circles part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take some numerical now. The question says that if two intersecting chords of a circle make equal angles with the diameter passing through their point of intersection, prove that the chords are equal. So let's draw a circle and there are two intersecting chords and, e and this chord makes equal angle with the diameter. So let's draw a diameter. Okay. And this diameter will actually pass through the point of intersection. Right? There are two chords. Uh, let me name it. Let this be A, B, and C, D. And the two chords. Let O be the center. And let P be the point here. And let this point be T. I just gave names up. Give some name. So now we have to prove that these chords are equal. So we have to prove that AB is equal to C D. Okay. Okay, so to prove AB is equal to C. What we can do is let's draw this perpendicular length. Okay, so what is given is this angles are equal. Angle 1, let's suppose angle 1, 2. So what is given is angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And we have to prove these two chords are equal. Let's try it. See if we can prove that these two lengths are equal. That is, uh, let's put some name here. Let this be R, let this be S. If we can prove OR is equal to OS, then we can easily say AB is equal to CD. Correct? We will just prove that. That if the distance of chord from the center are equal, then the chords are equal. So we have to prove that OR is equal to OS. And let's see if we can prove it. So if you see these two triangles, let, let's let me write this triangle. One is ORT, the other is OST. ORT, ORT, OST. You see ORT and OST, both these angles are 90 degree. But this is given the same. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 1 is what? RTO. RTO is angle 1. And angle 2 is what? OTS. OTS is angle 2. And we know that these two angles are also equal. Okay. Side OT is a common side. So we know that OT side is also equal. So if you see, we can see that two angles are equal, one side is equal. Right? Angle, angle, side. AAS. With that also we can say that these two triangles are congruent. So we can write in triangle ORT and triangle OST OT is equal to OT common side angle ORT is equal to angle OST angle OTR is equal to angle OTS this is given this is 90 degree by construction therefore triangle ORT is congruent to triangle OST Thus, if they are congruent, OR will be equal to OS. Why? Corresponding sides. If OR is equal to OS, that means therefore AB is equal to CD. Why? Because OR is equal to OS is nothing. OR and OS are nothing but distance from center to chord. So if these two distances are same, that means the chord is also same. And thus AB is equal to CD. And that's what we have proved. Two circles of radius 5 and 3 cm intersect at two points. Intersect at two points. The distance between their center is 4 cm. So this distance is 4 cm. And the radius is 3 and 5. So let's draw. This is 3, 5, and this is 3. And this whole distance is 4 cm. Let's put the number O and O dash. O and O dash is 4 cm. So we have to find the length of the common chord. See what we can do is we can assume this is just to be x. So this will become what? 4 minus x. Correct? Because this whole O, o dash is x. x plus 4 minus x is x. 4. Right? So, and we know that this angle is 90. Right? The chord and the line 
right? The line from the center to the chord actually is actually the perpendicular and it will actually bisect. Also, we know that this length is equal to this length. So if you make it A and B and C, we know that AC is equal to AB. AC is equal to CB. Right? That is something we know. Also, angle ACO is equal to angle ACO dash is equal to 90 degree. That is also something we know. So, you see, there, is a, there are two right triangles here. So, in this, these two triangles, I can apply Pythagoras theorem. So let's apply a Pythagoras theorem here on this triangle ACO. So, in this triangle, in triangle ACO, I can say that AC square or let me write here AO square minus OC square is equal to AC square or pi square minus x square is equal to AC square. Similarly, in triangle ACO dash, what you get? A, AO dash square minus CO dash square is equal to AC square. What is AO dash square? 3 square minus CO dash square 4 minus x square and that is equal to AC square. So in both equation, or let's suppose 3 and 4, so we have both side AC square. So we can actually merge these two equations. I can say that pi square minus x square is equal to 3 square minus 4 minus x square. Correct? So let's solve this. 25 minus x square is equal to 9 minus 16 becomes minus x square and it becomes minus minus plus 8x. So you solve this x square x square minus x square cancel. So what you get is 8x is equal to 25 plus 16 minus 9 that is 41 minus 9 that is 32 or you get x is equal to 4. If x is equal to 4 that means 4 minus x is 0 and this is 4. So this is 4 and this is 0. Correct. If that is the case, so we have got the value of x. Okay. Now, what we have to do, we have to find the length of the common chord. So let's find the length of AC. Length of the common chord is twice AC. So AC is nothing but uh, let's put it here. root of 5 square minus x square. 5 square minus x square that is 4 square. That is root of 25 minus 16. That is root of 9, that is 3. So if AC is equal to 3. AB is equal to twice of AC, that is 2 into 3, that is 6. So that is the length of common chord. Okay. Let's check one more numerical. Two equal chords of a circle intersect within the circle. They are two equal chords and they are equal. So let me first number it. A, B and C, D and they are equal. They intersect. Prove that the segment of one of the chords are equal to the corresponding segment of another chord. So what we have to prove? Let's assume we are meeting at E. So we have to prove that A, A is equal to E, D. This is given. So we have to prove that this part A is equal to E D and this small part C is equal to E. Right? So prove that the segments, because if you see now this chord is broken into two parts. Segments of one chord is equal to the corresponding segments of another chord. This A is equal to E D and C is equal to E D. That is what we have to do. See, if the chords are equal, we can for sure say that this distance will be equal to this distance, this triangle of a particular distance. Okay, and let's name it M and this B and N is B. Right, so we know that OM is equal to OM. For sure, what we have done is OME that is equal to angle ONE that is equal to 90. This is by construction. Okay. So now if we can somehow prove that ME is equal to ME, 
we can actually prove that a is equal to dy because a m is equal to dn is already given, right? a b is equal to c d is given, and you then divide by two because a m is actually nothing but a b by two, right? And dn is nothing but c d by two. So using a b a b is equal to c d if it is given. We divide both the side. A b by two is equal to c d by two. A b by two is nothing but a m, and this is d n. This part is equal. You know, if we can just prove that these parts are equal, we can actually plot these, and we can say that these two parts are equal. If a is equal to d, we can easily prove that c is equal to b. Why? Because a is c is nothing but a b minus a. Right? A b is equal to or d c. Let's just try to prove m is equal to n. That is our goal. Let's join this and let's see if we can prove these two triangles to be complete. Okay, so let's do take this triangle, triangle O M E and triangle O N E. Let's take these two triangles. O M E, O N E. Right? O E is going common side. O M E, O N E angles ninety degrees same. We also know that O M is equal to O N, O M is equal to O N. Using R H S, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. A lot right if you just write on your own. These two triangles are congruent by R H S. Therefore, I can say that M E is equal to N E. Correct? M E is equal to N E. This is my first equation. A M is equal to D N is my another equation which is already there. You just merge these two. What you get is A M plus M E. A M plus M E is what? Let me write A M plus M E is equal to B N plus M E. What is A M plus M E? A. And what is B N plus N E? B. Therefore, A is equal to B. First part is. Once a is equal to d, we can easily prove that c is equal to b. How? Let me prove it here. So we know that a b is equal to c d. Correct? We know that a is equal to d. So let's subtract these two equations. So what you get is a b minus a will be equal to c d minus d. So from a b you subtract a, what you get? b. And from C D you subtract E D. What do you get? C E. And that is what you get. E B is equal to E B is equal to E C. Correct. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.